What's the review today? I'll give you a hint. Make the homies say ho and the girlies want to scream. We are the Aqua Team. Hi everyone. This movie is an example of a movie that is impossible to review and even more impossible to score. We're going to do it anyway. Hi everyone, because it's still a movie after all. Hi everyone, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Welcome to Race Off with Grant, everybody. Um, and again, there's been nothing but good movies. Some of them are good in their own way. Hi everyone, and for certain groups of people. Hi everyone, uh, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy, and uh, welcome to Race Off with Grant, and this is kind of an early review. Apparently this movie is not supposed to come out until Tuesday. But it dropped on, at least from where I have, maybe they'll fix the glitch, but it was available to buy on Apple TV uh, long enough ago to watch the movie. It was like 11 o'clock our time, it's almost 1 o'clock now, so yeah, that's, that's insane um, from when I'm filming this. So um, yeah, we have kind of sort of an early review, it'll be on, of um, a new movie. Movies do you here, and that movie is Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm. Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm is a is uh, the second feature film based on the iconic and long, 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 long running Adult Swim series Aqua Teen Hunger Force, which later changed its name to various permutations, and it is a sequel of sorts uh, to the 2007 film, which is one of personally my favorite movies of all time, that no critics agree with me on. Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters. So this is a sort of sequel to that. Um, but unlike that film, which was actually released in movie theaters, this one is being released um, uh, direct to Blu-ray and VOD. So what is the film about? Um, well, um, nothing and everything at the same time. But first we should mention that Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm is written and directed by series creators, the creators of the TV show, Matt Malero and Dave Willis um, are the writers and directors here. And what is the plot? Well, um, picking up um, with a space adventure already in progress, um, our intrepid um, slacker heroes, who sometimes are detectives and sometimes aren't, um, Meat Wad, which is a big old wad of hamburger, uh, Frylock, which is a telekinetic, telekinetic super genius box of french fries, and Master Shake, which is a wise crack and milkshake, um, along with their uh, pseudo fourth member, uh, their Jersey scumbag uh, pervert neighbor Carl, who's a fan favorite, um, find themselves in our space. Carl is turning into some kind of alien monster, and uh, the events that ensue lead to the disbanding of the Aqua Team. They are now gone their separate ways. Uh, Master Shake has become a homeless space veteran. Don't ask, uh, Master. Uh, uh, well, I said Master Shake. Meat Wad has become, has been basically hiding out, squatting in a pet sanctuary where he is mostly being gobbled on by the various animals there. Again, don't ask. And, uh, Frylock has the most important thread. He has become a tech genius for a billionaire running, uh, the tech startup known as Amazon. Yes, it is exactly what you sound like. Uh, turns out this guy has a, the CEO of this has a certain Napoleon complex, and that Napoleon complex will lead to, in a topsy turvy way, not only the reuniting of the Aqua Teen gang, but a plant apocalypse. He's going to save the environment, even if it destroys all of planet Earth. Can the Aqua Teen save the day? And does it all matter? And will there be any real plot thread that is held onto for a few minutes? And what what is the deal with the Moon Knights constantly interrupting the movie to make meta commentary? And what's with all the weird shit that's going on? It's Aqua Teen, everybody. There are no rules. Let the adventures and non sequiturs and stoner weirdness begin. So Aqua Teen Forever Phantasm is perfect. It is a perfect example of exactly what it is: an Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. For anyone who doesn't know, and I've dropped enough hints to let you know of this, and I've mentioned it, you know, in some Adult Swim adjacent films, this is only the third film that Adult Swim has made. The previous ones were the first Aqua Teen movie and a film called Mr. America, which was based on the terrific web series On Cinema at the Cinema with Tim Heidecker. So I've never gotten to talk about an Adult Swim film directly. I got to talk about Bad Trip, which was a pseudo-unofficial film version, I guess, of the Eric Andre show. And I mentioned, and I continue to mention, 
I love Adult Swim. I love the sense of humor. Of, I love everything on it. I love. I've sen- I've been watching this since I was in middle school. I absolutely love this network, and I absolutely fucking love Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I love the theme song. I love the characters. I love the weirdness of it. Me and my friends in middle school and high school quoted that show constantly, and the first movie is one of my favorite movies. So yes, I am grading this on a bit of a curve. It's almost like Clerks 3. I loved Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm. I laughed from beginning to end. To bitter end. Um, I lo- also, if you're like me, love the Moon Knights. If they're your, one of your favorite things about Aqua Teen, you're going to love this movie. Because constantly, they are, without giving too much away, they break the fourth wall and kind of s- steal the movie in progress. Very funny. Um, there's also, they also make a really great joke about the confusing nature of the movie Tenant. Um, do I think, now, I will say this, do I think that it's quite as perfect as the first movie? Not quite. First off, no scene at all rivals the opening scene of the first Aqua Teen movie, which of course is iconic. Um, but, which is the Let's Go to the Lobby parody with Mastodon. However... There are gags in this that are some of the best in the show's entire history. I absolutely loved the it, the swipes at Amazon. There is no real plot. Carl is just such a weirdo, but we love him. Um, I Octane Hunger Force. Yes, it's crude. It's rude. It's it's crudely animated. It's bizarre. It's out there. Right from the beginning, though, there's sort of like a Space Jam: A New Legacy parody where they sort of where there's just this random live action guy. In a basketball jersey, he just kind of shows up and gets, like, beaten around. And I'm just like, this is just great. This is exactly what I paid for when I paid $20 to buy this movie on Apple TV. I, I was waiting for this movie, and I was, of course I was going to buy this. I'm going to watch this again. The other thing is that it's also a little shorter than the first movie. The first movie was about 90 minutes. This is only 75 minutes. So this is actually kind of the perfect runtime for an Aqua Teen movie. It gives you just enough. It's not too much of a good thing. It's just the right amount of a good thing. I love this movie. And there are people who hate Adult Swim and hate Aqua Teen Hunger Force and hate this style of humor and they are going to loathe this movie just like they did the first one. But I cannot in good conscience the first Aqua Teen movie I gave my five star salute to before I even started doing this and you know what? It's almost on equal footing, so... Guys, I know this does not compare. And in any ranking, it's going to be at the bottom. Uh, trust me. But I gotta give it... Yeah, you see it. Bang. Five out of five stars for Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm because, like Weird the Al Yankovic story, it fully succeeded at exactly the type of film it was trying to be. An Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. And that is exactly what it is, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, this will be available Tuesday on Blu-ray. It also will be available to stream wherever you find it. And I believe in January or February it will be available to stream for free if you have HBO Max. So uh, check it out. Alright. I've a forever. Plantasm. Um, uh, four, or five out of five stars. It's because we've got a trailer trash done. Watch it at home on VOD. Was there shawarma? Yes, during and after the credits. And by after the credits, I mean after the production logo, even after the William Street. So stick around to the bitter, bitter end. Um, also, the ending of this movie is perfect. Um, I almost wish it was kind of the end of the, sh- of the show altogether, because it's like a perfect kind of like kind of dark punchline. Um, yeah, that is it. Uh, we will be back. I think the next time we'll be back is Thursday for Black Panther Wakanda for... No, during this week, I promise, Werewolf by Night and She-Hulk will, She-Hulk will do that this week. Uh, but yeah, uh, more to come. That'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all classes missed. I love you 3,000. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Uh, give it the bell. I don't know what it does that's supposed to do. Or so I've been told. Um, leave a comment, even if it's Hey Grant. I don't like waffles. It really helps out. Um, if you want to find me elsewhere, if you use this and other fun stuff, you can check me out on Letterboxd.com, at Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Twitter, I'm at Raised, Raised Grant. You can also find me on Facebook, Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Uh, serialized, all one word, all over case, Raised on Popcorn. Uh, check out my podcast, Raised on Popcorn with Grant. The podcast on Spotify and Anchor. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. I want to know down below. What did you think of Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? 
Think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And until we meet again, we were all raised on popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye.